Let's play! A long, long time ago, in a ga- <clears throat> Ah, no wait. Somewhere around here, I mean. And this very mountain, the first wars entered this world. Oh, look at his favorite clip! Limited ambition and the talent for whatever they set their minds to. They dug through mountains, built wondrous artifacts and structures, and had a courage of steel to face the fiercest of monsters. Win. On their way to glory, they encountered other races, such as the nimble elves and the mighty dragons. With their help, soon the dwarves had spread far from their homeland and created a vast kingdom. But that was a long time ago, and I was merely ancient back then. In the end, it was due to change. They came from the unknown regions of the north. Mages. Mages! The dwarves had never seen anything like them. They wielded powerful energy. <laughs> brought with them terrible creatures that seemed to hate the very world itself. Even so, the dwarves offered their hand in friendship. But the mages had no such intentions. They struck out against the dwarves, and soon the Great Dark Magic War had begun. The dragons flew to help the dwarves, but the mages were so powerful that they managed to strike the dragons down from the sky, oh, I know. destroying them. The elves fled the lands to let the dwarves fight for themselves. Hello, yeah. The noble dwarves fought long and hard for their survival against the ruthless mages and the terrible destruction they brought in their wake. With no one to help, the dwarves Dad. were pushed back. Dad! Dad, you told this story dozens of times already. It's not real. There are no mages or dragons, and we don't even have a great kingdom laying around. This is boring to listen to again. I don't know. But soon, the dwarves will rise again, and they will build a civilization worthy of their stolen glory! Dad, are you talking to yourself again? No. <gasps> Game of Dwarves! <laughs> okay. I'm so excited. I'm the prince, and you will hear me. Well, I guess I should Put be back. Put down the ale and listen. You've been a lazy layabout since the day you were born. Not knowing the grandness of what a true dwarf should be, you have no ambition besides filling your belly. What must I do for buy my fluffy box? No more. I'm throwing you out. Of here, so you have to learn how to take care of your own dwarven clan. Woo! You may only return home to Hemfort when you have proven yourself to be my heir and a true prince of the dwarves. Now go! Aww. Here we are! <laughs> Listen. Okay. But well, we did the tutorial. So let's do the trial. It's another tutorial. It's part of our campaign. Woo! 
Listen good and listen well. Hold. All right, here we are. The trial of clan leaders. We complete this? Then I have proven myself as a true dwarven clan leader. Oi. Don't get your beard in a knot yet, boy. Being a clan leader requires that you're able to take care of your dwarves. Now, what's going on? King Father, where are you? The dwarves of all listen better than you. I'm <laughs> looking at your progress from the sidelines. Don't worry about me. Just focus on the task at hand. Okay, look, I have quests. Bed builder. Need to build two beds. Food gatherer. Need to gather food. Need 20 decorations. Need a researcher. Specialized research. Specialized military dwarf. And a trap builder. Okay. Um, food gatherer first, I guess. Do I have a worker? Crafter. On, Warrior. Crafter. Pay attention. You reach the treasure chamber somewhere around here, then your task is done. Okay. To reach it, you need to prove yourself a true dwarven clan leader. Listen good and listen well. Yes, yes, I know. First, I need to have a functional home. I already started with that. When kings speak, you listen. Yes, you've been busy building indeed. But you also need to keep your dwarves happy. Build more beds, gather more food, and build nice decorations. Make your settlement something to be proud of. Okay. Well, we already have a dwarf assigned here. But we don't have any food. No food yet. Oops. Let's dig out this gold. Let's plant some crops. Deadly poisonous to most creatures. Dwarves seem to have an immunity to poison. Patch of carrots. Engineer do burn houses down. <laughs> okay, times one food. Times one food. Times one food. Okay, let's plant some mushrooms. Plant some carrots. And let's plant a lemon tree. Okay. And let's plant a log plant. Okay. Stop digging! Okay, I need a bed. Got one bed. Here's grant your settlement a small bonus to happiness while serving as resting stations for idle dwarves. Okay. Beds. Build a bed. Hmm. Plus two happiness. Forty gold and twenty wood. Plus three happiness. One hundred and fifty gold and a hundred wood. I think we'll start small. Um, how did I change? I 
forgot how I rotate this. Oh, it's gone! Bed. Let's draw a bed. There we go. Okay. Go to bed. King's Quest to complete. These are more difficult tasks which you do not need to complete. However, if you do them, then you will earn respect from all dwarves. Okay? Who knows? Complete enough of them, maybe you will become a legend in your own right one day. Okay? Stop what you're doing and listen to me. You thought them up, they can't be too hard. Oi! Look in your quest log. Do you require more information on how to complete them? Okay. Dig that. Lovely gold. Can't dig there, must be undiggium. 